is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah! Exploding down the sideline. This is Hanging with the Boys, presented by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Now, your hosts, Nate Newton, Kurt Daniels, Jesse Holly, and Shannon Gross. Well, Jesse mailed it in. Yeah. He gone again. He's gone. You see who's really dedicated to the cause here. That's right. Me, Shannon Gross. Kurt Daniels and Nate Newton. Jesse yep. just don't even care. And, and I'm cool, going to say this and let this and go. Kyle, and Kyle. I'm, 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 I'm going to say this and let this go. Okay. All right. I'm going to say this and let this say go. Say it. Preach. <laughs> the Cowboys are in the playoffs. Okay. One thing, just only one thing happened. Wow. Is the, is are you the, okay? Yeah, the Eagles won, and that kind of messed things up. <laughs> but the Cowboys <laughs> did what they had to do to get in the playoffs. Mm. All right, that's all I'm saying. What was the score of yesterday's game, Kurt? 47 to 16. Who won? Cowboys. That's our game recap. We <laughs> yeah. That's all yeah, we're talking about. And we're in the playoffs. <laughs> that's that's all we're talking about. So who we played this first round? Uh, hey, hey. Who we play this first round? Mexico. Guess who's going to Mexico in three weeks? <laughs> this guy. Hey. Got everything finalized now? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. You're all set. Trips, huh? flights booked, ready to go. Hotel. And all I know is I'm ready to go. Where are you going? Playoffs. <laughs> Nate, oh, Nate. Nate, I love I, your conviction. I'm, yes, your passion. Brother. But this is ridiculous. <clears throat> When I'm going to the playoffs. I ain't said I was going with the Cowboys. <laughs> I said I was going to the – Nate knew this going to Are the playoffs. Are you driving to New driving Orleans? To Wait. Yeah. I'm going to the playoffs. <laughs> I got to keep my word to the fans. I'm oh. going to it and buy it at the same yeah. time. Oh, man. Okay. Today – so we're doing a show today, tomorrow. Okay. And then there will be a joint show on Thursday, which we still don't know who's on that joint show, but – it's probably going to be around 11 in the morning. Just 11, one. all right. And then we'll go to once a week. We'll figure that we schedule out. We don't know out. what day yet, huh, next week? Nope. We'll figure all that out and let everybody know. We've I'm been sure in we'll, Monday the last couple of years. But. I'm sure we'll put out a, a schedule at some point. So just know you got us today. Tomorrow we'll take phone calls because we want to know what you're thinking ending the season. But today you're stuck with us. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> the most important thing right now, and I'm quite sure you two lovely gentlemen agree with me, is will uh, we have a new head coach at what time, point in time, we don't know. I mean, let's, Kurt, you got some insight on that? No, there's a lot of rumors flying yeah. around. One one local reporter even said that everybody's already been fired, but now they're backtracking all that. So it's just it's a free-for-all right now on what's going on. Yeah, and I, here's the deal. Like, I've had a few people hit me up and send me messages and texts and stuff and, like, you know, When's the announcement? I don't think, I don't think there's going to be an announcement because Garrett's contract expires after the season, right? I yeah. think Wednesday. Wednesday. So I don't, I don't think there's going to be. I think you're probably just going to hear rumors of coaches being interviewed. I would him possibly going yeah. and interviewing other players. I don't think there's going to be. Well, I I would think that just to avoid all the rumors and speculation that. They might, they would come out and say, "We're moving on." We're moving on. I don't know if they'll hold a press conference or anything like that, but I would think just to avoid all this, what's going on right now, all these rumors that they would. Let me ask you this: Have the Cowboys ever avoided being talked about in the media? <laughs> I'm no, with you, Shannon. No, I no. think they would probably do the opposite just to be. Yeah. Hey, the playoffs are going on, but. Here's what's going on with the they, Cowboys. They could, I could see them maybe doing a press conference if Garrett wanted to say goodbye or something, or they wanted to, you know, congratulate him. But Garrett might be like, forget this, I'm out of here. So He did it all in his uh, post-game show yesterday, the reminisce yeah. and the talking about it. Uh, you know. He had a really good interview on the fan this morning, by the way, that – if you haven't heard it, go to the go to our website or our app, and they've got the audio and they wrote a little I article. It. Was it good? It, it's – I think – I've heard Garrett maybe three times pull the curtain back a little bit and show some emotion and show some personality. And I think – go listen to that. I think that's what fans kind of wanted from him throughout his tenure here. 
was <laughs> a little bit of, you know, some emotion. Yeah. Like, here, he's a real, he's not a robot. He's a human being. Yeah. And he, I think he showed a little bit of that. So if you haven't heard it, go go listen to it. Wait. What were you, what were you, uh, whoa, what? Yeah, too late. We, we have uh, a caller? Yes, you do. Jesse Holly. Oh, well, Jesse Holly. Well, well, The, the voice <laughs> of reason. Who's on the phone? <laughs> Hello. Up, Who is this? Kyle, we got you hooked up. I've gotten a bed. Yeah, Can you I got, hear? Kyle, what's going on with the audio? That's. Uh, Can you guys hear me? We hear no. you, Kyle. Not. Um, yeah, Jesse's on the line. There, there we there go. We now go. we're good. Now what's up, brother? You guys got me. What's we, going on? We got you. What's so, happening? So, Happy Monday. So you mailed it in and just decided to call in from bed, huh? <laughs> Couldn't even get out of bed this morning. You so tore up, huh? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm so distraught and so hurt, man. My my feelings, my emotions, everything. It would not let me get up and get out of the bed. But I did make it to the airport where I've been stuck for the last six hours. Oh, you still you still not home? <laughs> no. <laughs> Serves you right. Serves you right, Jesse yeah. Holly. Yeah, you know, I, I thought it hit look, I thought today you guys would support me emotionally because of all the things that I've gone through this weekend. But I see that you guys are treating me just like you treat your head coach. It's a shame, man. It's a shame <laughs> you guys do me this way. How are we doing you? Oh, you guys are you guys are just treating me all bad, man. I've been in the airport for six hours, man. Where's the, where's the sympathy, man? You know, <laughs> where's the sympathy? Where were you? What? Why? Where were you at? Where you're having to be in an airport? Uh, New that, Jersey. What were you doing oh, in New Jersey? Home, huh? I was interviewing for the Giants job. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh Lord, Nate's rubbing his face. <laughs> you know Michael Jordan. Not, Do you, you, I, I you did, know Michael Jordan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard of that guy before. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> Going yeah, anywhere? Yeah, I, know him. Yeah, I, I want to get on the conversation, man. Let's. What are we talking about? Let's talk. We, well, we just opened up the show. We just we just uh, recapped the 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 Redskins Cowboys game. The Cowboys won. That's about all we had to say about that. And then we were just talking. Oh, you mean you mean they scored thirty plus points again? They did, ah, man. They did, wow. and they played a team below five hundred. So wow, automatically and in the playoffs. Nate's got Nate's in the playoffs. Oh, Nate's in the playoffs. Yeah, fantasy. Yeah. I thought fantasy was over. Nah, I play. Uh, I play uh, Seahawks next week. <laughs> What's wrong? He's just keeping it going. What's wrong? He's I'm just saying so, what I'm doing. I ain't saying what the Cowboys so, doing. So, so Shannon, are you are you going to bring down those papers from your office so that we can recap and go back over everyone's uh, everyone's preseason review of what the Cowboys going to be at the end of the season? We'll do that. We'll do that tomorrow when you're when you're okay. in the studio with us. You, so yeah. I'll bring those. Maybe down. maybe you can. Find an airport that uh, allow you through airport security costs. <laughs> maybe, you, maybe, man. then maybe you can get on a plane then, right? <laughs> if, if you know anything about flying out of Newark Airport, you all you know there's always some junk happening in Newark Airport. I hear it never that. Fails. I hear no, that. No, just it's just you. They, everybody else moving around. <laughs> it's just you. I was in San Jose this morning. That's right. So everybody, you are the one, Jesse. That is holding up everything. Kyle rolled no, in right when the show was starting. Yeah. That's how dedicated he is. You know what, Kyle said, man, forget them other shows. I just got to make it the one show. I just want to make sure that the voice of reason is accounted for on this on this Monday. Okay, you are being accounted for. We have 26 players on <laughs> that has some type of rest- restriction or un. <laughs> the voice of reason. Con- who's- Whose contract is up, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Unrestricted. Than that, or, I think. Before we get into this list though, Jesse, what what are your what are your final thoughts on the season? I know you're dying. You wouldn't have called in if this wasn't important to you. I know uh, I, I wanna I wanna be here with my team. I wanna be here with my team on an emotional day. I wanna make sure I'm here to support you guys. There ain't one person you should go in there. That's me, homeboy. <laughs> so you can stop with that foolishness. <laughs> Nate is okay. Nate, Jesse, believe this. You know our mentality. When, hey, we come in on Monday, we pack our garbage bags, and we roll out for the offseason. I was, I was gonna, I'm glad you called in, Jesse, because I was going to ask you guys that. As we sat in the lunchroom today and you, you watched the guys – it look, they look like the Grinch who stole Christmas. They're, they're walking from the locker room through the lunchroom out to their cars with 
a gray garbage bag. A gray bag and white big old bag. Over the shoulder. Some of them smiling. Some of them hugging people as they walk out. Some of them just look like the Grinch and all pissed off. What is that? I mean, it's over. Like, when you lose, you come in, you have a team meeting. Sometimes you meet with the coach and do exit interviews and all that, and it and it's over until yeah. you're back until in the building. Until we meet again. Some of these guys, 26 of them that we have on this paper in front of us that we'll go through at some point in the show, 26 of them, the reality is well over half of those guys won't be back with this team. Some of them won't even be on a team. This will be their last stint in the NFL. What's that day like when you come in and these guys that you've battled with and you've you know, you know fought with and you've gone through all this stuff with for the last nine months, how is that – walk out of that locker room what's the mentality what is that like yeah i think reality finally hits you at that point in time and you go man you know all the hard work that you put in all the days all the hours i said this many times before you spend more time when you're playing football you spend more time with your football family than you do your actual blood family the hours the trips the road games i mean all of that uh and then it's over and like that, you look up and you go, wow, man, you know, it's done. And I'll never be in the locker room with all these guys again. Like you mentioned, some of these guys will never play football again. Some of these guys will never be on this team again. And you build this bond. It's a short amount of time, but you build this bond because there's a common goal, you know, to, to, to go out there and win a Super Bowl. And you guys are in the trenches and you're in the, you know, you're in the dirt every single day battling for one another. And then in a the blink of an eye, it's over and it's done. And that chapter is closed. And there isn't, there, isn't, um, there isn't anything you can do about it. You can't, you can't rewind it. You can't go back. And so sometimes you just take a moment to reflect and you're saying, man, this is, this is my 16th year or this is my third year or this is my homeboy. This is, this is, some people are saying this is my coach that's probably not going to be here anymore. So it's, it's a somber situation when you leave uh, for that year. Uh, but also it's, it's a moment to reflect and say, okay, what, what can I do better? What can I go into this offseason season? and try to improve on? What areas can I get, uh, I can grow my game in? And so all these things are going through your mind, but it, it's, an emotional, it's an emotional thing for a lot of guys because uh, it's over. And all of these guys are such routine guys. Every single day, you wake up at the same time, you take the same route, you eat the same thing for breakfast, you have the same meeting time, and all of that is so routine. It is, I mean, it, it's, it's like you can do it without even being awake. And then all that's about to be over. All that's done, and now you have to go and, and find a new routine and, you know, essentially watch these other people go in the playoffs. And you look around and you're saying, all this talent, all, all the guys that we have on this team, we won't be playing next week. Nate, Nate when you, whenever you decided to stop playing, did you, have, did you know that was your last game? Oh, yeah. So your last game you With were Carolina like, Panthers, I knew, man. I, I knew during the season. Like, I ain't – I ain't have nothing else to give, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I was a below average player, and I, and I knew it. I was like, wow. Well, what was it like when you walked away when you played your, your last game? I was good, man. Yeah. I was good because the game was good to me, and I was good for the game. So, you know, and I accomplished what a whole lot of guys wish they can get a hold of. So, did you, I was good. Did you take a, a little <clears throat> bit of extra time that last game and kind of stand out on the field, or were you just like, I'm bye? I'm out. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Jesse, what was your what was your last I guess last moment or last memory of, of being on a team? Oh, I, I knew I was I knew I was done kinda almost in the off season because it became work to me. It became work to get up in the morning and go train and go prepare and eat right. All that became work where years in the past it was it was enjoyable to me. I would I would like literally jump up in the morning and like let's go run this three miles let's go train this hot sun of texas and i knew in training i knew when i started training the office, i'm like man this might be it for me and then when i got to training camp with new england and i started realizing man this this is hard this hurts i, I was like and it, the sad part about it was when i got released from new england i was the very last guy to be released i didn't get released until seven o'clock that night so i had to wait all day long and it it was a discussion back and forth between was New England going to keep uh, uh, five receivers or four receivers? And they ended up keeping four receivers and using Aaron Hernandez as their fifth receiver. Um, that didn't work out too well for him. But I was like literally all training camp was in my room. And when you get to knock at the door, 
so, you know, for the, for, the, for, the, for the Turk, Nate knows about that, the Turk to come get you, I was hoping it was me. And I couldn't quit. I couldn't do that. But I was like, if they fired me, that's something different. But I wasn't going to quit. But I, I, knew, I knew that often that this was going to be my last year. Mm. Kurt, what was your – oh, sorry. <laughs> well, you know. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so where 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 does the team go from here, Jesse? What 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 are the big what are the big question marks? Obviously, what are they going to do with the coach? What are they doing with the free agents? But as far as you know, let's take the head coach and put that aside. What do you do with the rest of the staff? Do you leave some of these guys in place if you do make a coaching change? Do you let the new head coach bring his own people in? How do you see that shaking out? Yeah, I, I think, you know, that this the next head coach, he has to be able to pick his own staff from top to bottom. Like, you know, you're trying to add pieces. Now, maybe you suggest, right, if you're Jerry or you're Steven, you say, hey, this, this Mark Colombo is a really good offensive lineman. The offensive line really like him. You know, consider, consider, you know, consider, you know, consider that something that you want to do. What's up, man? What's going on? <laughs> What's up? What's up? I, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm on the phone right now. Man of the people. Into, no, no, Man I of the into, people. I ran into Dion Bread. I, I just ran into Dion Bread. We just, I was just having a conversation about my last time. When I knew my last game was, I do a show back in Dallas called Hanging with the Boys. Man, so, say my number, bro. Yeah. Give me yours. I call you. <laughs> they laughing. I'm like, I can't say it loud on air. They want to show that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me right there. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. Have a good one. Man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sorry, fellas. I just ran into <laughs> Dion Branch, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Bowl MVP Dion Branch. We were teammates. Remember, I told you the story when I first got to New England. He was the one who told me what to do when I first got in the uh, when I first got in the huddle with yeah, Tom yeah, Brady. yeah, yeah. So he was just coming through the airport, and so yeah, we just we just dapped up. But anyway, I think I think the next coach just has to be able to be, you know, fully come in and and have his staff, man, because trying to piece things together. Now I have to convince a coach from another staff to buy into my philosophy. And that sometimes can be, that, that sometimes can be hard, you know, because Mark Colombo has his way that he's done things and has been accepted under the Jason Garrett era. Or Chris Richard has his way. Or John Kitten has his way. And so now if I want to come in and have a fresh start, I want to be able to bring guys that I trust and that I have, you know, have full faith and is going to do things the way that I want to do it and knows, and knows me. And knows me and how I want to do things. So I, I do think that the next coach that comes in here should be allowed to 100% pick their own staff. Got you. Well, Jesse, we're going to take our first break. And then Nate's got to get out of here early. So we're probably going to take off a little early. We're going to go through this list of free agents. When you get in tomorrow, we'll go over our uh, our pit. You'll be here tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow if my plane leaves at some point in time today. Okay, well, we hope you get out of Jersey because that's a terrible place to get stuck. I you know, it. it's a terrible place definitely to get stuck, definitely to live. If I didn't have family, I'd probably never come back here. <laughs> but don't ever disrespect the place that I'm from. <laughs> no problem. I'll never make that mistake again. But we'll see you tomorrow, brother, whenever you get in the, get in the office. All right, Rob. Love you guys. All right, we're we'll going to take hey, a quick man. break. We'll be right back with free agents who we can and cannot live without on Hanging with the Boys. The Cowboys way where Thanksgiving means spending the day with 100,000 of your closest family and friends to watch the game live. Where 16 Hall of Famers and five championships show us what success looks like. Where we're all defined by one single thing, the star. Where we as fans have the power to keep the tradition going. Bank of America is proud to be the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys and to support the quest of living life the Cowboys way. What would you like the power to do? Bank of America. Copyright 2019, Bank of America Corporation. Hey, Cowboys fans. If you're thinking about attending a game this season, visit CowboysTravel.com to book your travel package today. Stay at the team hotel, have dinner with a Cowboys legend, and experience AT&T Stadium's exclusive VIP Owners Club. Also, tour the star, get autographs from your favorite players, and talk X's and O's with me, Mickey Spagnola. The official travel partner of the Dallas Cowboys will take care of all your travel needs. Visit CowboysTravel.com. Just okay is not okay. 
Whether it's cheerleaders or your wireless network, AT&T is America's best wireless network. Best network based on GWS1 score September 2019. So, you're shopping, and that's when you see it. Aisle 23. Dr. Pepper stacked from top to bottom as far as the eye can see. The phrase too good to be true comes to mind, yet there it is. A rich, delicious Dr. Pepper paradise. Wait, did, did that can of Dr. Pepper just open itself for you? They all are. As if to say, so nice to treat you. And even though it feels weird to talk to a can, you pick one up and say, it's so nice to be treated. Dr. Pepper, so nice to treat you. Back to hanging with the boys. Back. Back. I got my draws and my undershirt on. Oh, you're day. full on, huh? Full nice. suited. Means you're uh, not picking wedgies, right? I'm not. Or Just... playing cornhole. <laughs> Tommy Nate. John is the most comfortable underwear on the planet. Comes by backed by a no wedgie guarantee, which Shannon can uh, attest to. If you suffer a wedgie in your Tommy John's, they'll give you your money back. Shop exclusive Cowboys underwear at TommyJohn.com slash Cowboys and get 20% off your first order. What's wrong? I always man? figured you was out of rhythm. That that drum beat and all that, <laughs> you just showed me you. <laughs> we need to get a – once the show lineups are set for next year, we need to get computer to make us a new intro. Yeah. I like the one we have. I do too. We can spice guess, it up, revamp it. Yeah, sure. All right. I have in front of me, mm-hmm. and Kurt, and Nate, and Jesse over there has his bottle of water. We should have put the can in the. We should have put the Lysol can. There he is, Jesse. Thanks for participating. There's a list of free agents. Oh, oh Nate, we, you got we first be on branch, and now who we got? Yeah, how do you like that, Jesse? Name dropping <laughs> on the phone. Name dropping. Oh, that's funny. All right. List of free agents. I'm, how do y'all want to do this? You want to go down the list? Or do you want to say must resign, don't need to resign, or indifferent? You want to play that game? Sure. Whatever All you right. Do. Let's do that. So there's, I think there's 26 guys that are either unrestricted or restricted free agents. So we'll just go down the list, and you tell me, thumb up, thumb down, or thumb sideways. Yes, resign. No, mm-hmm. don't. Indifferent. All right. Dak Prescott. Yeah, resign. Yeah, you got to resign him. Resign. Cooper Rush, restricted free agent. Uh, I don't – I think you – If it's going to be the same as it was this year, that you cannot play him, don't even worry about signing yeah. him. And if you can't play him, what, what good is he? I think at this point, Dak's established enough where you could bring in a veteran, veteran guy, guy. And, and maybe somebody you know can uh, handle some snaps. Okay. Something happens. Uh, Jamez Olawale, they got an option on him. Yeah, I don't. That's. Hope it turned red. <laughs> <laughs> Tavon, Austin. Nope. Yeah, he's a guy I wouldn't spend a lot of money on. If the price is right? Price is right, maybe. But he just didn't do a whole lot this didn't year. Really, didn't really have a chance to. Yeah, really, didn't either. really use him a whole lot. They never they? have either. So. Yeah. Nope. Randall Cobb. If the price is right. Yeah, I go with you on that one. Price yeah. is right. Uh, Amari Cooper. He might be the toughest decision because he's had a, he's been a <clears throat> superstar at times, and other times he's disappeared more than you'd like. But I think they got to bring him back for. You don't think Gallup's ready to step into that number one? Because we don't have a number two. Yeah. So you have to really give Amari a great consideration. You have to handle that with kid gloves. You know, the one thing that that bothers me, I, I guess, about the Amari situation, he's he's probably going to get what top five receiver money. And that is that is the question mark mm-hmm. that you just you just hit it, man. Like yeah. and and to me, if you're a top five, if you're getting top five receiver money, you you can't disappear in right. games. And I feel like he was able, whether it was injuries or whatever it was, he was taken out of some games this year and if I'm going to pay a guy that much money I need him I need him 16 games to be a mark force yeah yeah, yeah they're spot yeah, track yeah. put put a question mark by him, man you have to handle that right spot track says his market value is 19.7 million which is like the second would rank him the second Ooh, highest paid that's, that's that's steep man you're going to need a lot your number one at that cost <clears throat> that's steep well and you also mentioned the fact of having Michael Gallup as your one receiver 
and you don't necessarily have a two. So does that mean is that going to be a spot where you have to go in the draft? You have to be able to go up and get a, a, a wide receiver in a very wide receiver heavy draft. But are you confident that that guy could either be your number one or one A or two behind Michael Gallup? Yeah, and then you get into the conversation of you also that first round pick. You really need a safety. You really need a cornerback. Now you really defensive tackle. I mean, yeah. I don't know. That's that's going to be very interesting. Uh, Blake Jarwin, restricted free agent. Yeah, I think I'd like to see him back for sure and given a chance. I'd like to see him a full season as your number one or one A tight end yeah. to, to to get to actually give this man a shot. Yeah. They either gonna be your your number one guy. He's not. This ain't like Amari and Michael Gallup, two guys that are still ascending. You know, you got Jason Witten and you got uh, Blake, mm -hmm. and then you got the kid behind Blake Schultz. You, you you got to make a decision who is gonna be your primary pass catching tight end. And if you're not gonna get Blake Jarwin the opportunity, just Move that on. that is just a waste. That mm -hmm. that is a waste. Yeah. So, sometimes you got to sit down as a head coach or as anybody over player personnel and say, who is this guy? And, and, and what he shows you, and if what he shows you on the field is a question mark, is it your fault as, as, as a personnel person, a coach's fault as not being able to use him, or is the kid dumb and don't know how to run routes and can't be depended upon? You got to make that decision. Mm -hmm. As a restricted guy too, they they can bring him back. You know, if they want him, they'll have him. There's yeah. he he doesn't have the freedom he obviously of an unrestricted guy. Doesn't hit the market right. right. Uh, unrestricted Jason Witten. Well, I hope he the Hall of back, Famer man, in a limited role. And if you're not going to limit his role, no, don't bring he, him back. He's not coming back in a limited role. I hope the Hall of Famer. Rides off into the sunset. You think, Kyle, you've got a clip of him after the game, right? The the, please, 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 man. We don't have like I've got two clips. clips of the <laughs> I've got same him, thing, man. I've got him reflecting it ain't on gonna change, brother. It's not going to change. He either come in here, be our starting tight end, and now all other tight ends get left out, or he moves on. I mean, now we can hear another speech on what how he's not wanting to leave. He don't want to leave. Okay, play the clip. No, no, no. We don't have to play the clip. <laughs> no, 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 play the clip because this is, this is the problem. And I really hate to say this. This is the problem. Who is the Dallas Cowboys? Are we a team that's going to continue to ride in the past and to hold on to the past? Are we going to try to go forward and try to win? We got to make a decision here. Now, we have to make a decision. All of these guys, we – got question marks on. We got a question mark on this guy. We got a question mark on this guy. Is this guy, oh, is Sean Lee going to be back? Is Jason Witten going to be back? Oh, man, what we going to do with this guy? What? Oh, man, what, what Antoine Woods going to do? It, it's like every guy we got a question on, we hoping for stardom. But you got to ask yourself, does this guy have stardom in him? So now, does Dak have stardom in him? I think he does. With the right coach, I think he does. Does Zeke have stardom in him? I know he does. Does Blake Jarwin have stardom in him? I don't know. How do I find out? I know who Antoine Woods is. He's a 30, 30 down player. That if you would relegate him to run, run, pat, run first responsibilities, he's a hell of a player. But to ask him to do 35 and 40 plays, no. What is Jalen? Jalen Smith is a run-stopping linebacker that can catch fire and be streaky good. But if asked to total a team defensively, he cannot. He's shown you that. So you can sit here and keep it real, or we can say, oh, great guy. Love him to death. <laughs> Let's keep him. And then we'll be like, okay, y'all, 8-8, eight and eight, here we go again. Got 18,000 free agents. Let's walk through them again. Okay, let's continue to walk through them. Okay, so and let's fool ourselves once again. So we're not playing the clip of Jason Witten. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, no, I understand this right here. Who have, 
who have bragged on Witten. Witten came back. I said to myself, oh, Witten back? I thought he was going to be doing TV. Okay. It was first said that, okay, he's going to have a limited role. Okay. We all sat there and said, not the Witten we know. Okay, did he have a limited role? No. Nope. Or was he the starting tight end? Starting tight end. Okay. 70, what, 70% of the snaps Something as well? Like okay. So now, Jesse said it. I said it. He's going he's gonna to stunt the growth of Blake Jarvin. Mm-hmm. Unless, unless the coaches come out and tell us we don't know, okay, this is where we want Blake Jarvin. If this is where you want Blake Jarvin, then, okay, let us know, hey, this is Blake Jarvin's role. But we, but we can't sit here and say, should we keep Blake Jarrett or should we not keep Blake Jarrett? And then the question comes up because it comes up in every meeting, who is Blake Jarrett? Yeah. Witten, so, Witten played 76% of the snaps, which was seventh on the team, on the offense. Uh, you know, and see, this is what I tell people. Who don't love Jason Witten? Everybody loves Jason Witten, mm-hmm. you know. But if but if you be honest, did you a negative person or you don't like Jason Witten? No, no. I'm gonna tell you what's bigger than Jason Witten, like it was told to me. You're not bigger than the team. And the progression of this team is to win games. The only thing that matters. This is what Coach Johnson, Coach Landry, and the great coaches that I've always been associated with it. Fellas, we can we can talk about camaraderie. We can talk about brotherhood. We can talk about loving one another's families. But if we lose, you'll be doing it over the phone. Okay, you'll be doing it over the phone. So, what what would it take to win? And we I'm hoping we judging these players off. Can they help this team win? I hope that's what we're doing. Because if we're doing anything else, if we're going by if he's a good guy, uh, we think he's a team leader. Uh, and I'm going to be honest now, you may have some great team leaders that let us rat the 8-8. Yeah. Eight eight. <laughs> Boom. Oh. True. You got to get out of here? No, I, that's, I, I need no to go. finish this list, okay. bro. Right. Yellow looks good on you, by the way. You need to yeah, wear yellow. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like the rest of them. I got an option. I'm <laughs> 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 being honest, man. Okay, they got an option on Cam Fleming. Yeah. If we can find somebody better, let's do. Yeah, okay. I don't know how many <laughs> – Swing better swing tackle. We ain't heard nothing from number ninety all year. Sweat yesterday. They thought he was the greatest dude in the world on TV. Number ninety. I didn't know who no, number ninety was before the game. Yeah. I know now. I tell you what, swing tackles are hard to find. <laughs> yes, they are. The Redskins may have the best group of names on any team. Yes, in the they league. do. Yes, Jeremy Sprinkle, <laughs> yeah. Montez Sweat. sweat. Yeah, they yeah. got some good names. He got a man. good. He got a commercial too. Does he? Yeah. yeah. This guy, I hope they bring back, but I, I think he's going to go make money somewhere. Joe Looney. Yeah, he's, he's a good backup center. Yeah, a yeah. uh, nice guard. If they can, if they can get him at the right price, I would keep him. Yeah, I think somebody's going to pay him though. I think he's going to be a think starter so. somewhere. I, I, I think so. Mm. As bad as offensive linemen are in this league, yes, sir. I yeah. wish. Um, let's see, Xavier Suafilo. Oh man, he's you know, he's a one. He's a one way player. He's a one. He's a run. He's a run. He's a run player. He loses confidence, and he has no blocking ability, pass blocking ability when he loses confidence. Mm. He, it, you he's know, some decent games, but it's been inconsistent. Very, very inconsistent. Would you, would you bring him back as a backup? Only yeah. as a backup and at the right money. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Michael Bennett. Uh, the money would have to be really right. Really, really right. Really, really right. Malik. Who? Malik Collins. They ain't going to pay him. No? No, probably and not. Unless he go out there and find out he ain't as valuable around the league as he thought he was. They need him in the middle, but you're right. With all the other contracts they got, I don't think they can yeah. they can afford him. Christian Covington. Uh, he's a rotational guy. If you can get him cheap, maybe. But he's unrestricted know. or restricted? Unrestricted. unrestricted. Mm. Money got to be wrong with you, Kurt. Yeah. Kerry Hyder. Young guy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've worked with him. If the, if the money's right, I'll work with him. Bring him back. He's and been yeah, around a little while, but. What, is it two, three years in the league? No, I think it's more than that. Been longer, longer than if he's been more than two or three years in the league, he is what he is then. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I think he's. he's and he got to beg us to get back here then. This was his fifth season. Well, oh, yeah. Fourth. Fourth season. season. Yeah. I, I, I would give him one more shot. Okay. Rotational. This is an interesting one because he's probably going to get some money somewhere. Will it be here? Robert Quinn. 
Man, I'd like to have him, especially with every year DeMarcus has got shoulder injuries or whatever, mm-hmm. and you just wonder. Now that's going to be a hard one for the Joneses to figure out and Will McClay. That's going to be a hard one to figure what, out. 11 and a half sacks in this two games? Yeah. Pretty good Pretty good year for that guy. Yes, yeah, sir. I mean, he's, again, with the way that DeMarcus just banged up every year. I know DeMarcus plays harder than anybody. Can't fault him, but, man, I'd like to have that other rusher on the other side. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Ross, restricted free agent. Banged uh, up. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy. A guy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sean Lee. Coach. Coach Lee. Linebacker yeah, coach next year. Sounds like he's, he's I, I would not let him lead the building, man. That will be the only old guy that I may say, you know what, y'all? If he'll sign for a mil and a half, two mil, yeah. I, I, that, that dude is just real. And he did a solid job these yeah. last couple games. Yeah. He, this dude is real, he man. Up with him. I, I, I can see this dude impacting some young players who are willing to – Devour football. Put in the work. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. I, I, I can see it, man. Sean Lee is real to me. And he seems to me like if, if you had him in some kind of coaching capacity, he would be a guy that would spend time with the guys that wanted to learn. Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, you yeah. want to stay till 10 o'clock tonight and watch a film? Right. Let's do it. I, yeah. I, I'm with you. Uh, Justin March. But going back to Nate, I do hope they really consider him as a coach. Yeah, man. Give him yeah. – uh, man. It, <sighs> see, I'm going to tell you something, man. A lot of times, a lot of times people holler things like who they like and this, that, and other. You got sentimental values, but when you mention a guy name, and no matter who you mention this guy name to, just number positive come out. Mm-hmm. That's 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 him. That's Sean Lee. Nothing but positives come out. Yep. So, man, that fifty looks good. Yeah, it do. Justin March. I don't know enough about him. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think he's like Nate was talking about with uh, um, what's his name earlier. He's good yeah. for a certain number of snaps. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know enough about him, man. Speaking of not knowing enough about him, I didn't even know this guy was on the team until last week. Malcolm Smith. Yeah, we signed him late. No, signed him. Yeah, we signed man. him late, and he came in and made some yeah, made some he, plays. He, he that, did, actually, yeah, that's good. what's so funny. Stripped the fumble. He come in and make plays. That's what a linebacker's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Not 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 seen before and after the play. But seeing during the play, <laughs> sure would be nice. Mm. So you, would you bring him back? I would give him a shot, man, to compete. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think that's a guy that could be a, a yeah. rotational backup linebacker. At least I mean, they're going to need that. And but he's not going to cost you a whole lot either. Yeah. And Shouldn't. you know what, though, Kurt? These guys, we are talking about bringing back and signing. What if the new staff ain't had got no love for him? That's true. I mean, he had Richard <laughs> in his corner <laughs> yeah. here. So. Yeah. So are you There's ready, no my telling. friend? Joe Thomas. Whoa, man. He got the flu and got injured. And he was he ain't that guy we saw before the flu yeah. and the injury. Mm-hmm. Man. Woo! If he's right though, he's another good kind yeah, of rotational a, yeah, linebacker. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is now these this is an interesting one. Anthony Brown. Man. Banged up this year, hurt. I'm I'm gonna say this here, yeah. man. I would like to know. Was it the coaching staff, or was it these guys don't have no talent? Because at one point, all of these guys exhibited some great talent. They were up and coming. They were yeah. all the next, the next big thing, right? What happened? Was it the technique of the new coach? But this new coach uh, is Rashad, and, and I tell people a lot of times, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss because – he had a boom in Seattle, yeah. and all of them is ball hawking. And regardless of what teams they go to with Sherman, with Terry, he's still balling. Mm-hmm. So is it the players? Is it the coach? Is it a little bit that either neither didn't give to the demise of the player? So I, I, gotta, I, can't, I can't speak on Anthony Brown because I don't really know. Yeah, he's going to be a tough one. He, you may need him. They're gonna let the They're market gonna the, the market yeah. take. determine if yeah. they afford yeah. him or not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Deontay Burton, restricted free agent. Yeah, he's a young guy. They'll get him cheap, I'm sure. I, so. I, don't, I don't know enough about him. Yeah, neither. Yeah. Uh, Kayvon. That's a guy you could probably bring back cheap, but as a Kayvon special is limited, teamer, his number you know. is limited because they it, they looking for safeties now. They yeah. they have gotten through two three years. 
And if they don't go out and get some press and say this, people are going to lose faith. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you can say that these guys are not valuable, but all through this league this year, safeties have played a prominent part in teams winning and turning around programs. So it, you can say what you want, but it don't sound good when you say you don't value safeties, especially playmaking safeties. Yep. Unless they think Kayvon's a true special teams ace, you know, Bill but Bates you can't have about two, two or three of them. Yeah, so, so unless that, they, they may move let's on. Get, let's pick it up. Uh, C.J. Goodwin. Don't know enough about he's him. He's kind of their special teams guy. So he He's kind of the Kayvon. Yeah, the he's, new Kayvon. He's been their, their ace, so to okay. speak. So Jeff he was Heath. nominee for Pro Bowl. Yeah, he gonna he coming back. He gonna either be a starter for me, uh, 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 the next man up. He's the, he can be that great next man up. I, I believe Jeff that. Yeah. yeah, he can be that great next man up. Go get you a playmaking safety and let him be that next guy, that third guy that that make come in the game. Because when Jeff Heath don't play a lot, he make a whole lot more plays. That he's kind of remind me of, of, of Lewis. If Lewis don't play a lot and you just spot play him here mm-hmm. and there yeah. or put him at that inside, he can be a he can be a beast. But I think as you play him longer and longer, and people get the tail on him. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a guy. I wouldn't surprise you. If he retired though. He's he's been pretty banged he, up. Yeah, he, nah, that, that boy got too much dog in him. Yeah. No, nah, he one of the few dogs on this team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Byron Jones, interesting one because he's probably going to – Can't afford it. Yeah, he's going to command yeah. a lot of money. In and his value will be more to another team than, than it will to ours yeah, because our fans is never going to accept him because he's not an interceptor. True. Darian Thompson. It's another – your backup safety maybe. I don't know enough about him. Yeah. Um, special teams guys, LP. Yeah, he, yeah, he keeps sure. snapping the ball, man. <laughs> as, long as, he yeah, can, as long as he can get that ball. Stay up yeah, right. long, yeah, I'm, I'm with LP. As long as you don't hear his name, it's yeah. a good thing, right? Yeah. And our last guy, and I think this guy probably played himself at least back in the training camp, Kai Forbath. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing how – Nobody wanted him, it right? Took us eight, On eight, his couch. It took us 18 weeks to get rid of the one kicker, and that was the bad spot that cost us, help cost us games, then all of a sudden we get a great kicker and the team fall apart around him. Ain't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> Not one thing, it's another. Yeah, man, I got to get out of here. All God right, we're going to get out of here. We're going to take a break. Me and Kurt will come back and close out the show by ourselves. Stay tuned because that's going to be a disaster. <laughs> Hang on with the boys. Since 1865, Stetson hats are American-made with pride right here in Texas. And Stetson is proud to be on the field with America's team. Want to show your Texas and team pride, too? You can. By purchasing your own Stetson, you can look just like how the flag guys do on field at every home game. Stetson hats, the official crown of all self-respecting Cowboys and your favorite football team. Get yours today in the Stadium Pro Shop or at Stetson.com. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again for tailgating with the Otterbox boys. Otterbox, the company that builds wildly overproductive phone cases? The one and only. But cases are just the start. Otterbox is the official outfitter of tailgating. If they can keep my phone safe, what can they do for my parking lot party? How about protecting your beverages from suboptimal drinking temperatures with their Elevation Tumblers? And Otterbox Elevation Tumblers come in three sizes. A 10-ouncer, a 20-ouncer, and even a 64-ounce growler. Check out all the colors and sizes of their Elevation Tumblers at otterbox.com. Want to use what the pros use? How about the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys? Jack Black. Right now you can get the Jack Black Starter, a curated collection of Cowboys locker room favorites for just 10 bucks with free shipping. The starter includes four Jack Black skincare favorites plus a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Go to getjackblack.com slash cowboys and use the code word TEAMJB. That's getjackblack.com slash cowboys. The Jack Black Starter, 10 bucks. Free shipping! Whether you're into being a part of this or more into something like this, SeatGeek has the tickets to the events you love. It's the easiest way to find, buy, and sell tickets. Plus, with their deal score technology, they'll recommend the best seats in the house at the best value. So the next time you're craving this, the Seek Geek app and let's go. Seek Geek. Back to hanging with the boys. Back for the final Back. few minutes of the show. It's fitting, isn't it? The final show of this season recap is 
us two clowns. Yeah. <laughs> the ratings ought to just be booming after this. It makes it I'm easy. I'm here too, guys. Don't worry. Oh, okay. hey, Kyle. Well, I can help you guys out it if makes, I need to. makes it easy on Kyle, though, because he only has to have one camera angle That's now. That's true. I yeah, I don't even have to switch it if I really <laughs> wanted to. No. no need to. No need to. Nice. What you got pulled up over there, Kurt, when we were in the break? Uh, we were talking about players' contracts expiring. Um, Jane Slater, one of the local, I think she's NFL Network, mm-hmm. um, covering the Cowboys for them. Uh, she put out that... Uh, when Garrett met with the coach's insistence today, he told those with the expiring contracts, you can look for work elsewhere, um, and that things would be sorted out in the next 24, 48 hours. Although that's the looking elsewhere is kind of something he always says to guys with expiring contracts. Those who do have expiring contracts include Chris Richard, uh, Gary Brown, tight ends coach Doug Nussmeyer, safeties coach Greg Jackson. So they have some other guys that... Uh, We'll be looking for work, maybe. Yeah. So we'll see. Which, you know, if, if the change is made and Garrett is gone, I would hope that the new head coach could come in and hire whoever he wants, you know. So, Pick his own folks. Yeah, he, he wouldn't be, you know, lack of a better word, stuck with guys that are already here, you know, mandatory. But. Yeah. I think it's, it's probably going to be the most – interesting off season we've had since I've been here probably think so yeah just because you have this many guys that are free agents yeah so the team's going to look and completely some really different. big ones yeah some some big names on there some guys that have, have been here their whole career Byron Jones you know guys like that and then whatever happens with the coaching staff whether it's the same head coach or a new head coach and you know you, you would think that there's going to be some turnover with assistant coaches one way or the other. Right. Um, so, I mean, it's, you know, usually the off season it's kind of same old, same old. But, you know, it's – the team's going to look and feel different no matter what happens next year with that that amount of free agents. And it's just going to be an interesting off season to see what happens. Yeah, you know? and I think it's – it's honestly one the fans are maybe ready for in a way. You know, as yeah. far as the coaching stuff, I mean, I it's sort of bittersweet for me because I, as a person, I really like Garrett. He's a mm-hmm. he's a good man, um, you know. But even I agree, it's probably time for a, a new voice. Yeah. Do you think there's any way I, that he's? Yeah, I just don't see how he's back. No, I mean, I think it's that ship has sailed, for lack of a better word. That not that he couldn't do it, but I just think the the outside pressure and the results obviously mm-hmm. have put us in this position where he's just not the right guy anymore, and that's unfortunate in some ways. So, um, and who knows? He may be ready for a change. I mean, he's kind of not only is he players maybe tired of his message, he may be tired of giving that message to the same players and dealing with the same things that surround the Cowboys. He might be looking for a Giants gig or something like that. Yeah, I. I I do know that they, you know, whatever happened in the locker room, usually, you know, we have photographers and videographers that go in. Right. They pretty much shut the locker room down. Oh, did they? For several minutes before hmm. they allowed people in. So, you know, you kind of got the feeling, you know, for him and maybe for certain players, this was kind of their last, you know, Witten kind of, you know, we talked about Witten earlier. He, as he was running off the field, he grabbed Sean Lee and they hugged and he said something to him and he walked off and he turned around and he yelled at Sean and he got Jeremiah, one of our photographers, to take a picture of oh, him and Sean it. together. Cool. Then he kind of walked back out on the field and he pointed, I guess he had family or friends or something on the other side of the stadium and he kind of pointed and, and waved. And then instead of going back through the Miller Light Club where the team comes in and out where he always exits the field, right. he – Went all the way around the side of the field and high fiving fans. Uh, I saw that were, some were highlights in, of that. Yeah, we're down in the in the kind of the field level suite. So you kind of definitely you, has a goodbye feel. You kind of <laughs> got the feeling like maybe this was you know the last time that he was going to do that. Yeah. But you know you never know. People change their minds. Yeah, you know, but once I, they have time to reflect on it. I think a lot of him coming back was Garrett and Garrett. You know, 
safety net for whatever reason, you know, however you want to put it. So the fact that Garrett's probably gone, it, it might have spelled the end for Witten anyway. But You think he'll, you know, we talked about Sean Lee coming back in a in kind of in a coaching um, aspect. Would you think Witten would come back and do that, or do you think once he's done, he's done? Well, I he's definitely going to coach. I think even before the – the foray into the TV side. He mm-hmm. he had always talked about being a coach, so um, he will coach. But I, it's a good question whether he will here or not. I don't know if – is he willing to be just the tight ends coach here? And how would guys who were teammates with him last year, who, you know, how much help they got, I don't know then, would they now pay attention, that, you know, next year? So right. I almost – Wonder if he it'd be better off for him to go somewhere else and kind of learn the ropes of coaching and then come back. I, it's hard to say. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he goes to college. Yeah, you'd think Tennessee, his alma mater, would would obviously be a a landing spot. But then again, he's obviously the Jones family loves him and he's got such great history here. They may not want to see him go anywhere. Going back to this free agent list before we get out of here, other than really. Dak on this list, mm-hmm. I don't really see anybody on here that just jumps out at me that says, you have got to re-sign this guy. Yeah, I know it. I mean, Dak, maybe you could argue for Amari, yeah. but, you know, he's going to he's gonna command a lot of money. He is. You know, and you, you, you've, you've tried the wide receiver thing by committee and did not work that well. You got Gallup that's – a really solid number two, but he's had the drop sees a couple of games this year. That yeah. you, I don't know if you really, if you trust him to, you know, be your number one. You got Randall Cobb that had came in and did I think a lot, but he actually yeah. hit his, he hit his bonus, didn't he, in that game? Didn't he have some kind of accelerator <laughs> he did, or something? But the only re- I guess the only way it triggered was if they made the playoffs. So he he did his part, but the team didn't oh, do it. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, they had to so. make the playoffs. I think to get, so. Oh. So he reached the yardage mark, but I I think at least the word on the, among the reporters was oh. they had to make the playoffs. Just give that like, man his exactly. money. Give him his money. Well, wow, it's a pretty good chunk, sizable bonus, but uh, but yeah, I mean he put up 800 yards receiving. I mean that out of a slot guy, that's a that's good production. Yeah, but, and he and he showed up when they needed him. Yeah, you know he was clutch. So yeah. but, if you don't. Bring back Amari, then you like said earlier, you, you really got to make wide receiver priority in the draft, like yeah. Kyle was talking about. Yeah, Kyle, you just had some some news, right? Yeah, non Cowboys news. Uh, was trying to kind of keep my pulse on what's happening around the league, but Eli Manning let the Giants know or let the Giants media know that his time in New York is over with. He's still not sure if whether or not he's going to retire or not. Bring him here as a backup. <laughs> you think he'd do you that? We were talking about veteran backups instead be, of Cooper Rush. He'd be a, a good backup. I wonder if he would accept that kind of role. You know, that's a great question. Yeah. I would take him as a backup. Yeah. I mean, he's he. I mean, he owns AT and T Stadium. <laughs> I mean, his name was on the wall supposedly <laughs> after that. I mean, he plays that, really well that here. That story got so blown out of proportion, but was that not the true story? No, it was, but it's it's a tradition for visiting locker room guys to have opponents sign the wall or something. You see it in a lot of locker rooms, especially in baseball, where the wall will be covered with Hall of Fame opponents. And what made it bad was he – it was the first game. First game. And, and he wrote this huge, you know, <laughs> autograph and it got blown out. But it's a common thing among visiting locker rooms. Yeah. Well, it's going to be interesting around here in the next few days to see if any news – comes down because coaches have been yeah. coming and going left and right. I think Rivera signed in in Washington was that yeah. last night. Not officially. Not officially. Not yeah. officially. There's um, a lot of interviews going on. And I would think Garrett would get some of those interviews. So, yeah, like he supposedly, reportedly told his assistant coaches, you know, next 24, 48 hours we may may see a lot of changes. Yeah. Well, if you don't have the Cowboys app, download it because we'll have all the breaking news there you can get push notifications for when things do happen oh yeah and we'll be back tomorrow what are we going to talk about tomorrow? you don't take phone calls let the yeah fans... we should this will be be the uh last show of last show of 2019 yeah, oh it's so gonna be a little sentimental may, may we uh Might shed a tear yeah we can look back at uh the highs and lows of the or the good and the bad and the ugly of the season maybe or yeah. mvps that sort of thing yeah maybe there'll be some some coaching talk Maybe uh, Nate will still 
be in the playoffs and yeah, and he can tell us how the game. Maybe go. Jesse will actually show up. <laughs> well, instead of uh, that's debatable. Name dropping know? from New Jersey <laughs> in the and Dion Branch or yeah. uh, hanging out somewhere. Yeah, come on. I mean, if you're gonna name drop Jesse, let's do a little bit better. <laughs> I mean, uh, Dion Branch was a hell of a player, but yeah. let's. You ran into Michael Jordan or whoever. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Thank you for making the effort to be here. Literally, Kyle, job, Kyle. Kyle walked by as we're discussing if Douglas yep. was producing or not at 1 o'clock, and Kyle just rolls in at like 1 o'clock and 23 yeah. seconds. Yeah, and it, rolls. Was, it was right on the buzzer. Were you, doing, were you doing a game or something? Or no, family, I had or? a wedding. Oh, I was okay. a groomsman in a wedding, so I was I was in San Jose, and I, I took a 6 a.m. flight this morning oh, to try and get back. So, commitment there. Yeah, I woke up at 350 I guess California time oh. and got back. So. All for us. I love, All for you guys because I love, I love doing this show. San Jose is a great city. It yeah. was my first time in Cali, and so I, I had a lot of fun out there. Yeah, it's a San Jose is nice. Yeah. I like San Jose. Yeah, there's stuff to do, but it's not too big. It doesn't feel like L.A., cool. but it's still the I've been there in years. The California vibe. Yeah. So. Nice. All right, Kurt. Well, thanks for sticking out. Thank you. Sticking it out with me these last few minutes. Yes, sir. We'll be back with the full crew tomorrow. Kyle, thanks for keeping us on the air. Caden, thanks for not having anything to do with this show. Final show of 2019 tomorrow. Hang in with the boys. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!